For everyone taking the NCLEX, there's only one thing on our minds, passing. Am I right? It's the last hurdle that stands in the way of getting your nursing license. And starting April 1st, there's going to be a change to the NCLEX. Next gen style questions are gonna be included in the test. So I wanna take a few minutes and explain how the scoring works on these specific style of questions so that you can have confidence when you go in and click submit after every question. Hi, my name is Dan Jones and I'm the product manager at nursing.com. I've been studying the NCLEX changes for the last two years and I wanna take just a few minutes to give you the key points that are necessary to understand in the scoring so that you can go from stressed to confident as you walk into the testing center. In this video, we're going to be looking at matrix multiple response questions. So if you look at this next gen style of question, it's similar, it'll be similar to something like this. Again, you can tell it's a matrix because it's got columns and it also has rows. Now on these though, they're multiple response because you can select multiple answers in each row and you can have multiple answers in each column. So that's how we know it's a multiple response. So how many points is this worth? That's judged by how many correct answers are in the question. So for this question, zoom in here on the answer choices, you can see that there's answer choices all over the place. And if we count them up, then you can see how many points this question is worth. So this question in particular would be worth nine points. Now the scoring method for matrix multiple responses is what's called plus minus scoring. In other words, you get one point for each right answer, but you get a negative one point for each wrong answer. And then this is where it can get a little confusing, but the way that it's scored is you add up all the points in the column. So you add up all the points in this column, add up all the points in this column, and then you add up this, the subtotal of each column. And that's how you end up with the total score for the question. Now, like I said, that gets a little bit confusing. So let's run through an example. So let's say this is what I put as my answers. You can see I got some right, I got some wrong. I didn't answer some when I should have. So the way that we score them is we first look at the, the beginning column. So I'm gonna block everything out and just look at this first column. So here we go, I got one right, I didn't answer, I got one right, and I missed one. So we start scoring them. That's a plus one, because I got it. We skip that, because I didn't answer it. Plus one for that one. But then I get a negative one, because I missed it. So this is where we gotta be a little careful and make sure that we get the right answers. So the total for this score is plus one, plus one, minus one. So we get one point for this column. Now we move on to the next column. We get this one right, get this one right, gives me two points. Moving on. Now, if we look at this one, I get one, I miss one, I miss another one, I get one and I miss another one. Now, if you look at this, the total answers come down to negative one, but there's a special rule so that the lowest score you can get in a column is a zero. So don't worry, you're never going to go in the negative, the, but you'll, you can get a zero if you go below. And then the last one, I get one right, so I get one point. And so if we add these all up, you can see I got one plus two plus zero plus one. So I got four out of nine on this question. And that's how you would end up scoring these matrix multiple response questions. I know it seems a little difficult, but that's the way that, that it's worked out according to the NCLEX. So some key points. The item type is matrix multiple response. Scoring method is plus minus, meaning plus one if you get it, minus one if you miss it. So you gotta be a little careful, careful on the answers. And yes, again, there is partial credit, so you get points for what you, what you got right. And again, we'll go down here. The most helpful tip is understanding the nursing concepts being tested. So as we look at the nursing concepts, the best way to get the best score is to make sure you understand what they're talking about and what they're scoring. Nursing.com has all the lessons that you need, clear and concise lessons to help you go from that, that stressed, that discouraged state to be motivated and confident. We can get you everything that you need so that you can feel confident as you go in to take the test. So with that, I wanna say, go out and be your best self today. You can do this. Happy nursing.